A family searches desperately for their missing loved one along the Texas border, forcing them to live out of their car for over two weeks. This after not knowing where he's been for almost two months. Idania Ramirez has that story. This heartache of not knowing where my husband is. I've looked for him everywhere and I can't find him. After one year of living in El Salvador, leaving Maria ill and five of their children in Virginia, Yenzi Omar Carmona took the chance of coming back to the U.S. after being denied a U.S. residency while applying in his home country. We were supposed to meet in Texas, but it didn't happen. They drove more than 25 hours from Virginia to Texas to pick up her husband, but instead of receiving a call from him, she received a different call that took the trip on a different route. The coyote called me and said that after crossing the river, immigration caught them and said he doesn't know of him since. But there was one person that said he saw him and gave them one last hint. He saw him at like a, a detention center. He called it Yalera. And that stands for um, freezer, and that's a place where they keep them where it's really cold. This has led the family to search every corner for him. We've searched for him in many detention centers in Texas, border patrols, jails. We've contacted federal, government, and police, but still can't find him. Fox 2 investigated and contacted more than six facilities and officials to find Carmona, but the results? That's just not right. And there's not just him, there's more thousands and millions of people missing. 